Well, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. This is Dr. Samuel Kojaglanian. Welcome, everybody, to Instagram Live, and we are, what, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So come on in, all the beautiful peoples, and join me. Uh, we're going to do communion. So if you, um, I'm asking you if you don't have any bread or um not wine, but water, uh, uh, bring it with you, whatever to drink, bring a little piece of bread or, or whatever you have with you, whatever you got. We're going to take communion together. We're going to pray together. Uh, and we're taking a little break from First uh, Samuel chapter 16 because um, at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 8.30, Pacific, uh, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to go on CTN, Christian Television Network. So if you've got your apps or dish or satellite, whatever, iPad, uh, get CTN, Christian Television Network. We have started our, our t television ministry. And we are doing Rev It Up. We're studying the book of Revelation. It's going to be amazing fun. It'll be 30 minutes of your time and it'll be well worth it. I think you're going to fall in love with Jesus Christ. So watch it. You go to CTN live stream and choose Fort Myers, Florida. Fort Myers, Florida. Hi, everybody. Hello, Ann Ray. Hello, Hello, Alice. Hello, Azo Channel. Hello, Julie. Hello, uh, Trujillo. Uh, God's blessings on you. Uh, good. You, someone, uh, Trujillo watches, Benita watches CTN. Good. Keep on watching CTN Christian Television Network, 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I mean, in 30 minutes, we're going live. We're going on CTN. It's going to be amazing and uh, hope you guys enjoy. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Go get you a piece of bread, a piece of morsel, and something to drink because we're going to take communion together and we are going to just give up our lives, our purpose, our whole life to Jesus Christ. So whatever we have, our time, our resources, our energy, our mind, our uh, whatever we've got, we're giving it up to Jesus Christ because he is worthy. He is the lamb that was slain and he is worthy to have us all. And blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So thank you. Thank you for joining in. It's an exciting time. And I'm sorry I'm not going through 1 Samuel 16 right now. We'll do it next week on Thursday. And if you have the time, join us on YouTube. We've been on YouTube on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at where, what time is it? 7, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Studying the book of John. We're in chapter 6. This is getting exciting. Oh, my, my, my. Well, blessed be the name of the Lord. If you have your Bibles with you, uh, we are doing Matthew. I'm going to Matthew 26 today. And Judas is about to betray Jesus Christ. Jesus knows Judas is going to betray him. And Jesus doesn't have a hammer or he's not like uh, 11 disciples. Take him out. Don't let him do what he's got to do. Take him out right now. I don't want to die. No, Jesus Christ came to die. He came to die for you and me. And that's the beauty of Jesus Christ. And so he comes to die. And then Judas, which betrayed him, answered and said, Master, is it I? So Jesus said, someone here is going to betray me, right? They're at the Last Supper. And uh, everybody's like, is it I? Is it I? Is it I? Is it I? Uh, most of them, in their minds, are like, I, I, it can't be me. I, I, how am I going to betray him? But Judas knows it's him. I mean, the boy already got, went and negotiated money, money. He already negotiated. And he's already going to get the 30 pieces of silver, right? It's already his. And he's like, is it I? Is it me? Boy, you know it's you. You know, well, that is you. You know you're going to betray the son of man, the son of God. Why would he do such a thing? Because he didn't get what he wanted. You feel me? That's a false Believer, that's a false follower. That's a false disciple. That boy, he's like, you know what? One day Jesus is going to be king and uh, he's going to take out Rome and I'm going to take care of the money. What was he doing at that time? He was taking care of the money. And he's like, I'm going to take care of the money. I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be blingy. I'm going to have the only Ferrari in Jerusalem and in Judea. Everybody else got their little bikes and little donkeys. I'm going to get my own. I'm going to get my own Ferrari. And so he's happy, happy. And so um, he thinks Jesus is going to be the king of Israel at that time. He has no concept that he came to die. And so he's not happy. 
So he betrays Jesus because he doesn't get what he wants. Today, we're going to give what we want to Jesus. We're going to just give it all. And you're like, well, if I give it to him, uh, what will he? I did that when I was trying to get a medical school and I had 27 rejection letters, three years in a row. People telling me I'll never be a, a heart doctor or just a plain doctor. I just won't be a doctor. And I knew God put it in my heart. And there came a time where I got on my knees and I said, I give it all to you. I just give it all to you. Uh, you take it away from me, part of my heart will die, but I just give it all to you. Mm -hmm. And it was then that my life turned around. You want your life to turn around, loved one? Give it all to Jesus. Give it all. That's what we're going to do during communion. You're going to give it all. I'm going to give it all to Jesus Christ. Blessed be his name. Judas wanted it all. You got me? That's a false disciple. If you want it all, as Judas did, it's, it's a sign of false discipleship. That doesn't mean you don't succeed. That doesn't mean you don't make it. It means you, you go for it. You succeed. You gain. It's fine to make money. It's fine to succeed. It's fine to be number one. Okay, that's great. It's fine to have a nice house. On and on and on. It's good. It's the Lord's blessings. There's nothing wrong with his blessing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. So, um... But it is wrong when he wants it all for himself, not giving any glory to God. That's what Judas did. And he's like, Master, is it I? I Slap that boy. Of course it's you. But Jesus is so kind. He doesn't say, boy, I'm going to slap you. No, he says, he said to him, you have said. Meaning you said it. You got it. It's exactly what you just said. You, it, you, it's you. And then, and as they were eating, Jesus took bread. I love this. Now, look, there's a crisis going on. There's a crisis going on in his life right there. He's about to die, yes? There's a crisis going on. And what does he do? He's taking communion with his disciples because he cares for his disciples. And in the middle of your crisis today, in the middle of your confusion today, in the middle of you maybe in bed and saying, I don't want to get out of bed. I don't even want to live. I don't even want to taste this world anymore. I, I've tried everything. I've been betrayed by everybody. I've been denied by everybody. Uh, nobody has helped me. Uh, and, and, and people have rejected me or people have used me. Uh, and, and I thought I could trust this person and they, they used me. And I, 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 in the middle of the crisis, we're going to do what Jesus did. We're going to take communion. If you joined late, loved one, go get a piece of bread and a pre something to eat and get a, uh, and get something to drink. We're going to take communion together, okay? Uh, call your family members. Tell them we're going to take communion. Tell them they're going to be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. And you're like, you can't do that. Of course I can't do that. I can't do nothing. I don't have the gift of healing and miracles. But God does, and Jesus does, and the Holy Spirit does, and we're calling on their name. We're not calling on my name. We're not calling on your name. We're not calling on no politician. We're not calling on NBA. We're not calling on NFL. We're not calling on nobody. We're calling on Jesus Christ alone. And that's why I'm proclaiming today, people under my voice here are going to be healed in the name of Jesus as you take the communion. And you and I are going to give up everything to him because it belongs to him in the first place. Hallelujah to the lamb. And then they were eating. Jesus took the bread and blessed it. And he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body. So when we are going to take communion together and we're going to, the bread is, is his body. He says, take, eat, this is my body. We're eating the body of Jesus Christ. And it's not like the literal body of Jesus Christ. It's a symbolism of his body. And every time you and I take it, we are not re-crucifying Jesus Christ. We are not taking him back to the cross or getting his 39 stripes on his back. That's a no-no. He only did it once and once was enough. And so it once was enough for you and me and for the whole world. You imagine that? His blood is good for the whole world. For the whole world. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For billions upon billions of people. He said, take my body and eat. What did they do to his body? Y'all recall in Isaiah chapter 50 verse 6, you know what they did to his body? He's like, I, they ha I have given them my back to the smiters so they could smite me. I have given them my cheeks so they could pull, pull, pull the beard off my face. 
You, you imagining what's happening? They, I have given them my back so they can smite me. And I have given them my cheeks so they can pull my face and the beard off my face. That you, You're wondering, I mean, this is his body. What did they do to his body? Okay, and in Isaiah 52, 14, his face was unrecognizable. Why? Because it was like blindfolding him and hitting him and hitting him and hitting him and going, okay, since you're the prophet, tell us who hit you. Give us the name. Well, Jesus wouldn't have to take the blinds off. He could tell him who it was, but he was like silent. 53, 7, Isaiah as a sheep is led to the slaughter, yet he did not open up his mouth because he loves you. Because he could have quit then and you and I would have gone to hell because there's no salvation. No man can give it to us. No celebrity can give it to us. No Hollywood figure can give it to us. No Bollywood figure can give it to us. No nobody can give it to us except Jesus Christ. And he shut his mouth. They mocked him. I mean, they, you, you, all of John 19, if you go to John 19, verse 3, they mocked him, they smote him, they spit on him. And, and this is what they did to his body. I just want you to know when we're taking the body, it's such a sacred time. It's not a time where, okay, okay, that's good. And then you drink and now, okay, now let's sing a song. <laughs> no, 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 this is a sacred time. And that body, the smiting of the back, and 53.5 of Isaiah, by those stripes that he took on his back, you and I are healed. And you're like, well, I still have this uh, enormous pain, and I still have the symptoms. And I, you say, that's the facts. I'm just going to the truth, the Word of God, and I'm going to rely on the Word no matter what the symptoms, and I'm just going to keep on proclaiming. Now, if somebody asks you, do you oh, how are you doing? Well, well, I have the sickness, and it's terrible, and I don't know what to do. I took communion, and it didn't work, and on and on and on. You keep on talking like that. You and I, we cancel out our prayers. So you say, well, you know, I've been diagnosed with this truth. Yeah, that's fact. But I feel like God has healed me. And they're looking at you like, mm, boy, you don't look so healed. Girl, you mm, you look so bad. Even with your makeup, you don't look so good. And, and you know, people can do that to you. And you're like, I do? I look bad? I better go look in the mirror. Don't. Just say, this is the diagnosis. Speak the facts. But the truth is, I'm healed. You don't even say, I'm going to be healed. You say, I'm healed. Because life and death are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will enjoy of its fruit. Yes? Yes. Okay, so loved one, I want you to know what the body stands for. And then he took the cup in verse 27. We're in Matthew chapter 26, verse 27. And then this is like before he dies, right? This is like hours before he's going to die. And he took the cup and gave thanks. I, I mean, in the middle of hell, uh, in the middle of hell, yes, keep on saying, I am healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Just keep on saying it. And I'm telling you, when people talk to you about your problem, you're like, well, you know, that's what it says, but... Where's your butt at? Put the butt at the right place. You got me? But my Lord's healed me. Say what you want to say. I'm healed. You just got to keep on saying. That's not delusional. That's faith. Uh huh. Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we have not seen. It's, it, faith is being certain, 100% of what we hope for. We hope to be healed. We hope to get better. We hope to succeed. That's faith. So it ain't no delusion. It ain't no schizophrenia. I don't believe, I'm sorry. There are some great pastors, and, and I respect them. They say, you know, they, they believe in cessation. Cessationalism. Wow, that's a big word. It's longer than Kojigalanian. Cessationalism, meaning everything ceased in 100 AD, that there's no more healing, no more miracles. I'm sorry, I've seen healing and miracles after I prayed over somebody, many peoples. So I believe that Jesus has done it, not me. I ain't it. He is all Jesus, okay? So now, uh, and he took the cup and he gave thanks. And I'm just like, you and me need to start giving thanks in all our circumstances. And it's hard and you're like, I don't want to. Well, then sit down, slap yourself really silly, really hard for one time. And then say, okay, now I'm, I'm ready to give thanks. 
Even if you don't feel like it. Even if you have to do through gritted teeth. I'm going to give you thanks, Lord. Just go ahead and give him thanks. Even if you don't feel like it. Because he deserves thanks. And gave it to him. He gave him the drink and said, drink you all of it. For this is my blood. Okay, so then the the, the cup that we drink of. It, if y'all late, go get yourself a little morsel of bread or food. And, and get yourself a cup. We're going to take communion. Go Bring your family. Say, y'all better get on. Uh, take communion. Because this is time for healing. And this is time for transformation. And this is time for us to give up our lives to Jesus Christ. Let's go. And, and for this is my uh, blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Now, that's beautiful because that's for the remission of our sins. Jesus Christ's blood takes away your sin. He takes away my sin. You don't have to remind him. Do you remember God? <laughs> when I was 20 years old and I did stupid. <laughs> he already forgave you. If he already forgave you, shut up about it and move on. Satan going to remind you. You remember when you were 20? Oh, I do. I do. I, I feel so guilty. Stop. Underneath the blood. And say, I am cleansed. I don't want to do stupid again. I don't want to do dumb again. I don't want to sin again. I don't, I, just because I'm under grace doesn't mean I have all the liberties in the world and I can do what I want to. I am going to obey my God and serve him all the rest of my life. But I am forgiven. I am forgiven. Oh, my, my. Oh, Lord, I am forgiven. Say it, say it, say it. I am forgiven. I am forgiven. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, that's so beautiful. So now, uh, and, and Jesus said, for this is the remission of, of your sins. But I say to you, I will not drink hereafter of this fruit of wine, vine until the day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. So one day we will have again communion in heaven and we will join Jesus Christ and we will have communion with him. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And just to, to remind ourselves that blood in your, you know, in Hebrews 9, 11 and 12, that he did not bring the, Jesus did not bring the blood of goats or lambs. He is the Lamb of God. John 1, 29. Behold the Lamb of God. He brought his own blood. It's divine blood. And you're like, well, he was born of a virgin. Yes, you're right. So mama didn't give him no blood. Mom never gives the blood to a child. Mm, they, they don't give, they don't exchange blood. I don't know if you knew that medically, but mom and, and child in her womb, and I said child in her womb because it is a living human being at conception. That child in the womb that child in the womb does not exchange blood with the mama. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the, the child only has the blood of the daddy. And uh, so the daddy and mama didn't get together before this conception. It was done by the Holy Spirit. So the blood of Jesus is pure. And he didn't bring nobody's blood. He didn't bring a human being's blood. He didn't bring a celebrity's blood. He didn't bring a politician's blood. He didn't bring a cardiologist's blood. He didn't bring a lawyer's blood. He didn't bring a teacher's blood. He didn't. He brought his own divine blood. He brought the blood of Jesus Christ, God, the, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. He brought the pure blood. And that blood will cleanse you. Has in the past, will now, will forever, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to the Lamb. And so, loved one, he only did it once. And just because we do it right now doesn't mean that we are crucifying him again. Some folk believe that we crucify him over and over again every time we uh, take communion. And that's not true. We are not crucifying him. In a, we are remembering his crucifixion. We, we are doing this in remembrance of him. Oh, Lord, thank you. I, I just want to praise you right now. I want to thank you and, and, and bow before you and, and fall before you and say thank you for this communion that you have given to us. That, that we remember you and what you have done for us. And it did not stop at 100 AD. It is still today because you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. I just want to scream out hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I want to say thank you to the Lamb of God. I want to say thank you. And my loved ones here, they want to say thank you. So keep on saying thank you. Praise Him. Praise Him. This is your opportunity to praise Him. Say, I praise you. I thank you. I rejoice. I, if I could stand up right now, I'd jump up and down and dance. If you're driving your car, do not do what I just said. If you're in the house and you can run around, go ahead and run around and say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my. Oh, my, my. Now, as Jesus said, this is his body. And he said, do this in remembrance of me. Remember what they did to his body. 
He gave him his back. He gave his back to the smiters, those who smite him. And by those wounds, you are healed. Cessationalism can say what they want to say. We're going by the word of God and we are, faith is being sure of what we hope for. And it is certain of what we have not yet seen. We have not seen it, but we are sure that our God is good. Our God is good. And Lord, so we take this body of yours and we remember the, 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 the beatings that you endured on the cross. Ooh, and the agony before you even went to the cross, how those stripes you took and every one of those stripes I, is my healing, is my loved one's healing right now. And as you and your family members take this and put it in your mouth, you say the words, by his stripes, I am healed. By his stripes, I am healed. According to 1 Peter 2.24, by his stripes, you were healed. It's already done. That's why he said it is finished. It is finished. He ain't working on it right now. He did it already for you. He loves you. Yes, yes, I'm talking to you. He loves, loves, loves you. Yes. He's a good God. Ooh, glory, Lord, glory. Lord, you took the cup and you gave thanks. And Lord, I mean, this is not, I'm not holding your blood right this second, but it symbolizes your blood, Lord. My loved ones are holding a cup uh, and, and uh, they're going to drink of your blood right now because you are in us and we are in you. And by the way, if you don't know Jesus Christ, this don't even make sense to you. He died on Calvary's tree just for you and me. And, and he saved us from all hell and all sin and all destruction. Come to him as you are and say, uh, I didn't know this, but I'm a nasty sinner and I thought I was good. There is nobody good. Nope. People call me all the time. They're like, I'm good. Don't you know? I'm like, I'm not good. I don't know how you good. We ain't nobody good. Only Jesus is good. Only God is good. Only the Holy Spirit is good. But he can make you good and righteous through his blood. Mm. Come, in, come as you are. Say, Lord, I come as a sinner. You're my Savior. I take the blood. And from then on, say, the Holy Spirit's in me. And I will walk with you all the days of my life. And I ain't going to stop. I ain't going to stop worshiping you. I ain't going to stop serving you. I'm going to go all the way. I'm going to go all the way. And I know I am bought by the blood of the Lamb. And I am your child. And nobody going to take me out of your hands. Nobody. Nobody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb. He gave thanks. Oh God, we give you thanks. We give you honor. We give you glory. We give you thanks. And, and just to see you on the cross, it, it's just like heart wrenching how you did that for us. Well, I, I mean, I don't even want to say why. I know why. Because you came to die. Because you, you wanted to give us life. And we just want to thank you. We, we, we don't want to be like the Israelites in the wilderness murmuring and murmuring and murmuring. We want to remember this and be thankful for the rest of our lives. Rest of our lives. Hallelujah. So take this cup and say, this is Jesus' blood. And right now, this is my whole being is made righteous. And I am protected by the blood of the Lamb from all illness and harm and accidents and the evil of this world. Say it. This is the blood of Jesus. And I am made righteous. My sins are forgiven. And his blood protects me from the evil one and all evil. Thank you, Jesus. Now, drink the blood and be thankful that your sins are forgiven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Oh, Lamb of God, sweet Lamb of God, I love the Holy Lamb of God. Oh, wash me in 
your precious blood. My Jesus Christ, the Lamb, Lamb of God. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Bless your name. Just, I mean, just bless your name. We thank you. We love you. We are yours. We belong to you. And you belong to us. And we're so thankful. We are so thankful. We are so thankful. Amen. And amen. Well, loved ones, five minutes now. Countdown. Go to CTN, Christian Television Network, CTN. Go to live streaming. Then go to uh, Fort Myers, Fort Myers, Florida channel. And we're going to go rev it up. Our, we have started our t television ministry. Uh, and um, tell your family, tell your friends, uh, and and get to CTN and tell them, and tell them that you want to see more programs like this. It starts every Thursday, 8.30 p.m., uh, Eastern Standard Time every Sunday, 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, check it out. It's the first episode. It's the premiere. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Blessed be. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I love you all. Thank you for joining. Join us again. And we will raise one name. One name alone. One name. And his name is Jesus. Nobody else. Jesus Christ. Blessed be. Blessed be. The name of the Lord. I love you all. Bye-bye.